Hi, Mike McElroy here. Today we're going to review the Cypress Rev20 basic system operation. This will be a quick start, so it'll go through most of the major modes and operations of the system. If you have specific needs, just refer to the user's manual or you can feel free to call us here at Cardiovascular Sales. Inserting the transducer is simple on the side of the box. Line it up, place it, and press it in firmly. MO drive is located on the side of the device as well. Very simple. And to eject an MO, simply touch the green light. It will stop and eject the device. The other side is where the ports are. So we have a microphone, networking, output cable, USB, and external keyboard. The extra cable will be your peripheral cable. So here we have S and then standard video outputs. If you want to use a printer or an external monitor, you'll need to have this cable available. Power cord, an on-off button, and ECG cable. The Cypress has a very simple user interface. It's all laid out around the trackball and the select keys. So the trackball and select keys is, of course, where you spend most of your time. The freeze button is just above the trackball. When you're scanning, you can touch freeze, and then it goes into a freeze mode. Then the search knob will be right above. Modes on the left, 2D, M mode, and Q save. On the right, color, pulsed wave, continuous wave Doppler, TGCs. On the left, we have our other functions, calculations, view, save, patient setup, and tools. Our soft knobs will correlate to the buttons on the bottom of the screen, and they will be different depending on the mode that we're in. So in this case, the knob is a soft knob. We have slow, we'll turn it up to fast and normal. 